All right. Both of them getting ready, picking the music selection. Curious what Kara's listening to. Probably Kanye West. That's what all Smash players at the top level listen to, right? Anyway, getting into game one right here. We're going to have the rat ditto. Oh, look at the spacing. Oh, honestly, I personally love this kind of 64. You see just the so the mindfulness at every point in the interactions. That up B, though, he could having invincibility means he can get all the way back onto the stage on the other side. Gets him out of terrible situations that no other character has the potential to do. Okay, and Isaiah taking that first stock right there. But he's at 71. There's quite a lot that could end his life right here and now. Oh, not really getting the punish. Got a bit of a follow-up, but yeah, now we actually see the back throw from uh, Isaiah. Oh. Oh, he winds up on, on stage after that? Okay. Not quite enough to actually be... Oh, never mind. He is dead. Three stocks apiece. All right, we're back to that neutral, but it gets opened up real quick. This time it's Carol with this big opening. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, and the spacing. You saw that just barely outside of the forward air range of Isaiah. And, oh, man, he's just dancing around him. These down airs are too quick, and he actually gets an up tilt right afterwards. And he's following through, recognizing Isaiah trying to go to that top platform, grabbing the ledge, and, oh, he wanted jab grab, but he didn't get it. Jab grab would have ended the stock right there, and instead Isaiah still hanging on, but only for so long. A down at the ledge is going to take it. Caro looking really good right now. <laughs> All right, look at these two, the spacing. <laughs> oh, but Isaiah is just barely taking little bits of stage. If he can push Caro to the corner, little bit by bit. Oh, he's in the corner there. Oh, and he overextends. He wanted to push it, and that actually led him to a grab. And look at what happens. The grab itself led to stage positioning and led to, you know, a big opening possibly. But okay. Another one of those, I love that. Recognizing that the up B was coming out immediately. Doesn't even try to go for a follow-up. Instead tries to reposition the center stage and possibly catch the up B on the way down. Oh, that back. That, sorry, that down air. Throwing out these down airs. And they're, honestly, it's a baiting tool. And I love it. Oh, man. Are we about to see a two-stock lead for Caro? Oh, that should be it. Yep, the up smash. Isaiah's been going for those high recoveries, and kara has been punishing them. 84% is all we're seeing on Kara and Isaiah on his last stock right now. Oh, man, the electricity between these two. It's both literal and figurative as they're trying to space each other out ever so gently. Okay, that's a big forward air into back throw. It's going to do it. Two stocks to one, and... I mean, a player like Isaiah absolutely can bring this back into his favor. He needs to be so careful, though, and Caro knows that. With a bit of positioning, he's, look at the coverage here. Able to throw out these downers to cover jump, but he still manages to get back here to keep him in the corner. Oh, neutral air. A high upbeat on the top platform. I'm not sure what that forward smash was. No way that was on purpose. And that's actually going to take the stock out. Hold on a second. This was three stocks to one just a second ago. But now 52% is all that's been dished out onto Isaiah. Oh, but no jump gets the ledge regardless. We're seeing the spacing. Oh, look at those tiny. He just like dashes for a second and then stops in place. Oh, but he ends up on stage. Forward throw, putting him way out there. Okay, yeah, these high recoveries now working out a little better for Isaiah. The back throw, I don't know if that's going to kill just yet. It absolutely will. Never mind. That's Caro taking game one and what ended up being a nail biter. All right, moving into game two here. And even though these are the number one, two, and number C, two, number one and number two seed in the pool, this is still best two out of three here. And okay, Isaiah getting the first blood. Okay, that down of the great SDI getting him onto stage. That could have possibly been, honestly, death for Caro. 
All right, back to this patient, patient neutral. Isaiah, it's interesting that he, when we're in these neutral positions, he loves to go to that t the side platform, give him that verticality. But Caro not, it seems to never be falling for it. I feel like Caro is winning most of the neutral interactions that Isaiah usually gets. You know, when he's managed to open Caro up, it's because of uh, the scrap situation. And there's the down air, neutral air. Going back to stage, catches the high recovery, up air into the up smash. Beautiful stuff. Caro taking the first stock again. Hold on, this is momentum in Caro's corner. Let's see if he can continue it. Oh, that little back air into forward throw. Let's see right here. Oh, but the magnet grab right there, and that's a massive pickup for Isaiah. 42%, this is effectively an even game. All right, down air. Trying to get this up. To oh, and he waits out the invincibility. Off stage without a jump. Okay, another upbeat to get him out of that terrible situation. Isaiah looking so good right now. 84% on Kara. One grab will probably be death for him. Oh, but spaces it out with the up tilt. Yeah, look at this. You see Karo's facing away from Isaiah all the time. He wants to leave that up tilt as an anti-air option available to him. And down air able to just cover so much space. And the back air, is that enough to do it? No, not quite yet. But, yeah, the forward throw is going to be the, <laughs> the seal. Isaiah looking to even this up. He goes for that. Oh, I, Isaiah was really expecting Karo to go low. Now with some stage positioning, we've seen that Kara has been playing the neutral beautifully. Oh, but finally, Isaiah, that back air is big. Oh, and the upbeat to get him out of there. If you're not careful, if you leave Pikachu even a slight opening, he can use that up B. Sorry, yeah, it was the up B. Um, yeah, can use that up B to go all the way across the stage. Oh, up tilt. Look at the positioning right now. We're seeing tons of pivots from Isaiah crouching in place in order to just barely microspace around those down airs from Caro. And he just stands still. Oh my God. Standing his ground. Finds the opening for himself. And now Isaiah evens up the stock count and honestly turns us into a completely even game state. Oh, he gets that first opening, but Isaiah manages to find the grab for nonetheless. Okay, big pick up here, up air into the back air. That's enough to do it. That's the first time we've really seen a zero to death combo. It wasn't quite zero to death, but you know, huge long string that takes a Pikachu stock early. And like that, Caro is now on his last stock. The pressure is on for him. And Isaiah has shown that with the proper opening, he can just explode without warning. Going for the reverse forward air. Managing to combo break with up air. Hold on a second. There's a back air of his own, and that's able to do it. Completely even game right here. Caro, if he takes this stock, he wins with a 2-0 victory. Isaiah needs to bring it to a game three right now. Going for the pressure. He manages to find the grab on that top platform. 52% on Caro. In the Pika Ditto, honestly, percent really matters because once you are at the threat range of getting killed by a grab, Oh man, the dynamic of the neutral just changes so much. Aggressive down air, Isaiah managing with have some stage positioning here, 84%. Oh man, being crapped at the ledge is so scary. Back throw, almost doing it from across the entire planet. Isaiah looking for the finisher right here. And Kara is at the percent threshold where he will die to quite a bit. Isaiah on that side platform, and he goes through the deep. He, like, overshot that back air, and it worked out so well for him. That's Isaiah taking game two, bringing us to game three. Let's see how this ends up going. Number one and number two seed in the pool, showing why that's the case. They are neck and neck right now. I didn't even know Pikachu had a neck. As an aside, I love the fact that we have fat Pikachu in 64. Like they really, they, they like, this is, this is what real beauty looks like. Real Pikachus have curves. All right. 
game three. And the patient neutral to start here. I say he gets first opening, but neutral is not really going to lead to much else just quite yet. Yeah, we're seeing this is what Isaiah loves to do in the neutral. He retreats to that side platform and tries to abuse that verticality. Tao actually, last game, the reason he won is because he ended a whip. <laughs> he had an overshot back here that managed to uh, close it out. And, oh, Caro trying to go up to meet him. This is so intense at the moment. Carol just throwing out these back airs. And there it is again, the over the overshooting back air. That's sort of how Isaiah has been opening up Caro. Doesn't lead to much else thanks to that uh, brilliant recovery. But nonetheless, yeah, if you are Caro, you have to respect that Pikachu back air. Oh, and instead it's the downer. You saw he actually faded back just a little bit. He went for the pivot, but Isaiah didn't give it to him and instead went for the anti uh, the anti I, the anti air downer just a second later. I was saying before how it felt like Carol was winning a majority of these neutral interactions. No longer the case. Isaiah just dominating the game right now. Carol trying to chase him down. Okay. Big opening possibly, but that high upbeat. Getting up to the top platform. You've seen that. If he managed to get up there unmolested, he's pretty much back into neutral. And again, Isaiah finding him way up. I mean, this could be some big conditioning, though. Yeah, there it is. That's the mix-up, though. And you saw that Caro positioned himself so that he could punish the high recovery. And that's when Isaiah elects to go right to the ledge. The mix-ups are so strong right now. Oh, the uppy invincibility getting him out of that terrible spot. And a back throw to take it. Even game right here. I mean, I say even, but as mentioned before, percent matters a lot. Because as soon as throws sort of uh, represent a kill option, that's a massive... That can change the state of the game. Yeah. Up tilt. Oh, big combos. No, manages to shield on that platform. And up B to get out of the pressure. But this game has become so <laughs> even. This is game three also. The pressure has been mounting over the course of these last 10 minutes. And here is what we're seeing. That downer actually beating out the back air that Carol tried to throw out. And back throw. Is that enough to do it? Just barely missing the blast zone. And up B to get him away. Yeah, even with Pikachu solid movement, he's not able to catch him across the stage like that. Going for these pivots, looking for, it seems like up air is the option that uh, Caro has been showing for the last while. Man, look at the neutral right now between these two. Oh, Isaiah, he's showing that he wants a back air right now, facing away from Caro constantly. Respecting, oh, and there it is! He manages to find the grab! Carol went for that that downer that was trying to shut down an aerial approach, but instead Isaiah just runs up right to, up to him on the ground and finds it. Okay, now Caro needs to respond in kind. Only 48% on Isaiah. When you look at the state of this neutral, it feels like Isaiah has <laughs> figured out exactly what he needs to be doing. Another deep back air. Let's see if he could get any type of follow-up. He has the stage positioning. Hold on a second. Oh, ow! Oh, that look, that uppy was so smart. It, but it was just a little bit too far out there, and he wasn't able to grab the ledge. As a result, once more, the state of the game is so even. I love that. The downer is a long-lasting move, which actually manages to wait out the invincibility of up B. Okay, yeah, Alvin. Sorry, rather, Caro going to the ledge right now. Just making sure he has the opportunity to make it back to stage. Oh, look at this. This back air. the spacing right now. <laughs> oh, went for that deep backer. That's what we've seen before. That was one of the big options that Isaiah used in order to... It was a difference maker, I will tell you that much. But now Caro is ready for it. But as a result, in order to respect that, he needs to put himself in the corner. And there's that backer. This time it wasn't an overextension. 
He just knew exactly where he was going to be. Looking for that finisher. Back air after back air. Up to get to the other side of the stage. He's not going to get punished. And now with some stage positioning for Carol, what can he do? Weak neutral air. And oh, the forward air to catch him. It's just such a brutal position if you're Carol. One grab will absolutely do it. And Isaiah, interesting. He's still on that side platform. Despite the fact that, yeah, a grab is kind of what's on their minds. And as you see, yeah, of course it's on Kara's mind. Sets himself up for this possible edge guard and a back air. Grabbing the ledge, Isaiah finds himself. Oh, what was that? Oh, he back aired past the ledge. Put himself down low, but oh, the thunder. It's not enough to do it. 141% on Kara right now. All right, that back air is going to be doing it. 66% is all that's represented onto Isaiah. He's not even in that, that scary of a position. This is game three. Carol has worked so hard to get to this point. Can he keep his, himself alive? This will mean a big difference in terms of, you know, once we get to that bracket, the, the seating and where you're going to be, who you're going to be facing off against. Back throw. Is that enough to do it? It is. Oh, my God. One stock apiece. Game three. We have a slight lead for Isaiah, but honestly, considering how we've seen stocks go here, that 50% lead is nothing. Oh my god, take a quick breather. Don't even hit a single button. The respect right now. Oh, you saw that, the way he was positioning himself. He wanted to get another one of those deep back airs, but Caro drifted or brought himself backwards, and Isaiah didn't even want to mess with it, recognized the position. Both of them grounded right now. That up smash and the upbeat to get away from the follow-up. Oh my god. Who's going to get this next hit in? Okay, it's the forward air, but not going to be much beyond that. Has to be forced to tech onto the platform. Beautiful, he finds a forward air. Caro at 92%. Weak neutral air. Puts him off stage once more. Goes to the ledge. That's a trade. Is that going to... Oh, he has no jump, though. Holds the ledge, and that's going to do it. Isaiah taking it in a nail-biter game three. Oh, my God.